Michelle Lee here from With You Every Step Travel Podcast. I'm doing another cooking segment. Never thought I'd do that in my life, but I've done a few and I'm going to do some more. But I need some help. Wonder who can help me? Hey. Oh! Troy Larkin's here! What? Who would have thought? Again? Again! What? Gosh, I just live in your kitchen. I live in the drawer down here. <laughs> Make funny noises. What the heck is that? Anyway, um, we're cooking. We are cooking. We are going to India. Making a dal. Oh, good day, dal. How are you? Good. Perfect. A I'm going to call it, <laughs> I'm going to pronounce that mung. Mung. M double O N G. Mung dal. That's what we call it. I'm excited. This sounds amazing. So my guest, Ricky Abasu, gave me this. Awesome. She lives in Doha. Oh, yeah. So if you haven't heard that episode, go have a listen. You'll find out all about what it's like to live in Doha Not currently. Not just this, but what, what life's like in Doha. What life's like in Doha. I reckon Doha, uh, Mung Dal's on the, on the table all the time. It is in her house. Really? Did yeah, you know? this is one of her family recipes. Okay. So she shared it with me, and Troy and I are going to try and cook it. So Let's see how we go. <laughs> have you been to India? I have not been to India. Okay. Have you been to India? No, no. Well, no. we're going tonight. So. We are. We're going to India. So, Troy had a little bit of a mishap earlier. I uh, I would call it a mishap. I'd call it a, a cooking adventure. I was checking out the ingredients and they happened to go everywhere, which I think made a lovely um, addition to the table. Yeah. So, what it is, is yellow lentils. Now, I originally went and bought red lentils. And then, oh, as I listened back to the episode, I realised that she said yellow lentils. And I didn't know there was a difference. Did you know there was a difference? No, apart from the colour. There is a difference. So, apparently the red ones go a lot more mushy. No, I am mush. We don't want mush. I don't like... Oh, I got ugh. squishy issues. Squishies? Squishies. I got squishies. So, we've got yellow lentils. So yeah. we need to put it in a pressure cooker. I don't think you have to put it in a pressure cooker. So her explanation is one cup, but I think she says to put two cups of lentils. Okay, yeah, we've got uh, one, cup. Two, two, one cup, yellow lentil. One cup of lentils. Okay, let's see if I can do this without making uh, a I challenge you. Ah, ah. No, no. Rock solid. I was checking ingredients. Anyway, well, that's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we've got a cup of yellow lentils. So a cup of yellow lentils to two cups of water in the pressure cooker. So I will Which be putting it in my pressure cooker. I do have a stove top one. You might not. I said mm. that you need to wait for two whistles. <laughs> That's a ton. That's the time. So look, I'm going to meet you at about. <laughs> so I did ask her to clarify what a whistle meant and roughly how long. Yep. So she says about 10 to 15 minutes. So I would say after it hits pressure, about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So in the meantime, we're going to do the other parts to the okay. recipe. We're gonna need a bunch of stuff. Go. Get Troy oh, to okay. cut the onion. You I'm can gonna, do I'm, that for me. I'm gonna do an Academy Award onion cutting here. The, this way to the tears. I can never, what do I want? All right, folks, this is me, you and me talking. Uh, in the comments below, tell me how to cut onions without crying. I can't do it. I don't, do, you, do you? People, no, I cry all the time. But people I, always I, say I, that if you cut off a certain part and if you, you do this, I've tried them all and put, I still cry. Or you put it in the fridge or you wear goggles. There's all sorts of things. But well, how do they want to cut? Any cereal? Any just chopped up? However you, cut, all right. however you cut them. Okay. Put a bit of a bit of an elbow grease in it. So, yeah, we'll give it a go. I'll try not to cry, but... Um, but I, I myself am like an onion, layered, very layered person. You know. I think Michelle's farting. <laughs> like this, right? Okay. Then I'll try to go quickly just to stop the tears. I'm gonna do like this actually. Yeah. Ah! No, just joking. <laughs> Bad. Okay. Well, no tears yet. Look. look no, no, you've done well. No tears. No tears. Maybe you just need to talk about yeah, it you gotta, before you, gotta, you do yeah, it. You gotta, Maybe that's what the trick is. Yeah, you just talk about it. Okay, the thing will pop up, and so that's how we know that it's actually hit pressure, um, which is why I love this pressure cooker because a lot of pressure cookers don't let you know. 
Okay. See that we're at pressure now because the okay. little red dubalaki thing. The dubalaki. Like the dubalaki. Keep so an that eye on it. Keep an eye we on. We put it down on low now okay. if you first time use it for a pressure cooker, or if you're waiting for it to explode, it's not gonna happen. Not on my watch. Not my pressure cooker. Okay. Ten minutes from now. Hey, watch, set time for 10. Thank you. And how are these chopped up? Any, uh, any, any way? way that you like. I would just not have that bit and not that bit, no, but other than that, go for it. So there's, there's, your, there's, your, there's, your, there's your tomato. Get rid of this, so you get in there. Look at that. So we do have our rice cooking. I have got a basmati rice, because she did. Basmati. Is yeah, Ricky did say to pair it with rice, which normally if I have a dal. Rice dull, and pears? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Normally when I have a dal, I have it by itself. Uh-huh. Oh, without no, with, rice. Do you uh, often have it with rice? Never had it with rice. Never had it with rice never, either. Not, no. But apparently you Maybe have some bread or something, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a naan or I don't know. Well, we're going to have it with rice. We're so, going to so you're, it you're, full experience. So, you're, so your confidant suggested rice with the dal. Yeah. Okay. This is well, how we have it. Well, we do it. That's we're what we're do doing. It. We're doing it traditional. I am. This we're is why it. I ask for recipes because when I look it up and cook it, it's not how it is when it's come from a family yeah. passed down. That's what you want. Oh, I love traditional the, recipes. The traditional. Nothing bad about this. Okay. You do this. That means you're a professional. Anyone who throws detail over their shoulders, professional chef. This is like a magic oil. Look. <laughs> Hours of entertainment. That's the one you got to get, folks. <laughs> like, cause, like, while you're cooking, the kids can be amused. How good is that? <laughs> Not what everyone now? is living with someone through quarantine. <laughs> so sometimes. So this can be your best friend. Hours of sometimes fun. Sometimes you just need a little bit yeah. of extra entertainment. All right, so oh, the oil onions, up. onions are cooking. Look at that good smell. Oh, I love the smell of onions. Okay, mm. so we need one teaspoon of crushed ginger and oh. five or six cloves of garlic, which I would say is... Yeah, it's a whole bunch, just a bunch of that. Ginger, garlic, onions. Mm. Oh, mate, the aromas. The aromas in this kitchen are out of control. In here. Yeah. Let me let me look at the recipe. Yeah. 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 Garlic, then add tomato. So let me sort that. Hello. Look at that. Ah. Some the aromatics is what we want. So this is organic, like a special nice turmeric, which is why it's not in a bought one. Oh, that's a lot, Michelle. Ah. Poor so it's good. quite a strong turmeric. Can I smell? Yeah. Woo! It's a beautiful turmeric. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, how hot can you handle it, Troy? Wow! Can you handle the heat? What do we got here? Chili. Chili, yeah, I can do a bit of heat. You can how, do. Are you, how do you, how are you I, I'm good with heat. Oh so yeah, it's well, either we one don't... or two teaspoons. What I'm are we going to go? I'm good with heat. We're going to go two four, teaspoons? Four, four, five, okay. Two it is. You can do it. I, I'm, up, I'm up for it. I can, I can take it. I can take it, baby. I can take a bit of heat. Because you know what they say, you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well, we'll see if we can both handle it. <laughs> We're going to be crying on the floor, Michelle. One. Well, go one and a half, maybe. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's err on the side of <laughs> yikes. I do love chili. I never used to be able to handle chili oh, at me all. Me neither, me neither. When I was a kid, no and way. Then, Coriander powder. I sort of got myself onto it, you know. Yeah, I, so I actually started cooking with it a lot more, and I started with one chili and no seeds, and then I went up to a chili with seeds. Uh huh. And now I can handle about probably three or four chilies, the little yeah, hot ones. Yeah. You eat you eat Mexican food? I love Mexican. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what got me onto the spice. I got in with the Mexican with the you know nice. Um, you know, One I'll, teaspoon I'll of coriander, ground coriander. Oh, gosh, that's good stuff. Yeah. It smells amazing over here, Michelle. Good. All right. Add this, this little this bad boy. This is going to be ready soon, yeah. Oh, the spices are yeah. in. Yeah, mix in the spices, Troy. Any, any salt and pepper? We, don't want uh, we do need some salt. Oh, we need a bit of salt. Quick, let's the do salt that. is over here. I had a feeling that... Okay. I was looking for my tea towel. Uh, here it is. It was over my professional chef's shoulder. <laughs> uh, 
this looks pretty wild in here, Michelle. I'm liking this. The colours. Okay. We've got this yellow, the turmeric yellow is coming through. The pan, we'll have to throw the pot out afterwards because it'll be turmeric colour forever. Just turmeric just stains everything. Anyway, what are we doing now? Dude, no warning! Tea <laughs> calendar, just so it didn't hit you in the face. Well, didn't do it before that, you know. <laughs> it will pop down, so I can't actually open the pressure cooker when it's at pressure, which is why I love this pressure cooker. Wow, that looks amazing! Yeah, maybe you should... Someone likes pressure cookers See? around here, don't they? It's gone down. Oh, yeah. See, now which means it's safe to open. Oh, try to open it before. See what happens. You couldn't, you couldn't. Ooh. Oh, that... Oh my god! Oh. They don't even smell like farts. <laughs> Why should they smell like farts? What do your farts smell like? Split peas. Oh, the lentils. Look at that, they're going into this yummy sauce. Oh my god. This is There's lentils in there with the sauce. Oh. It's all vegan, vegetarian, so it's for everybody. Is the fenugreek. Fenugreek! I'm not very good at saying that. I would be like, have fun with the Greek! <laughs> little Grecian, little, yeah. Grecian, little Grecian good times. Yeah. Any Greek. Yeah. I'm very, very clean when I cook. I don't like to make a mess at all. So any mess that you're seeing that I'm currently making is all Troy's fault. Gosh. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. That's the, this is what I think. Look, you've got to agree. <laughs> That looks good. All right. All right, so let's put a bit of uh, fun with the Greek. If hen you Greek. On the top. Look at that. I've never, I've never done garnish. Do you do garnish at home? I never do garnish. Enhance. But apparently it enhances can the I flavor. Smell this? That smells amazing. Mm. It smells like a celery went nuts. That's what it smells <laughs> How like. How does that look? That's superb. But why would you go to a restaurant? Okay. <sighs> Chili yeah. hot? No, or temperature, heat temperature, hot? temperature, temperature. Yeah, you get a bit of rice. Yeah, you get a bit of rice because the rice shouldn't be so hot. Yeah, yeah, this one looks good. Mate, what do you reckon? That's pretty good. You're in the in now? There's like, a bit of chili in there, but that's a bit of chili. You 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 do it to your own your own your yeah. own specifications. I don't know if it would be as good without the chili. Yeah, you got to you got to put something. If you're gonna have in Indian properly, you've got to have a kick. Damn, you're right. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rikia. This is an amazing recipe. Thank you for taking us to India. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Seriously, that's if really you want, good. For the full details of the recipe from Rikia, head over to With You Every Step Travel Podcast for the episode. You can listen to everything she has to say, including how to make this. Hopefully we helped you mm. if you're going to make it yourself. It's mm. pretty easy. Thanks, Troy. My pleasure. Don't forget, spill all the stuff first and then you're good to go.